Hello YouTubers, wanted to review the Roberts 3095 carpet adhesive. I tried to search the internet to find some help with putting carpet on the walls for our home theater here and just had some pretty thin carpet here from Lowe's, I think it's 50 cents a square foot, it's commercial carpet, pretty rough back, but putting on the theater walls here help with sound, light, um, I thought I was going to have to maybe uh, staple it to the studs and hide the staples. Um, this adhesive talks about its fast grab. Now it's pretty runny when you apply it, that's why I put the paper up on our wainscoting and to, to protect it from any drips. Because it does tend to fall off the uh, the spackle, I mean the uh, trowel a little bit. But I used a combination of different type of things. Used the uh, one eighth inch teeth on this cheap little plastic trowel. I have another handled trowel in there. It's soaking in the sink. Um, the stuff washes up pretty easy with some hot water and some some soap. Um, but it does get tacky real quick, and and it, it stays tacky. Um, you get it on yourself. It's it's quite a pain actually. Your fingers stick together, your your gloves will stick together. But um, you know, we did one wall at a time here, 14 and a half foot wall there, 16 and a half foot wall there. Um, trowel it out. I, I try to trowel it horizontally. Um, it's a little easier to trowel vertically, but uh, I wanted to do as much as I could horizontally. But this is this is a good product. Totally recommend it. Couldn't find any really tips on how to carpet the walls. Uh, this works great. Did the, pretty much all the whole room and still have, you know, maybe a, a fifth of the, the, the pail left. The lid is pretty hard to get off. It gets really stringy and sticky, but this is a good product. Um, this carpet here, just get yourself a good set of shears, sharpen them up. It cuts great. You can burn the end of it with, uh, with uh, a lighter to keep it from unraveling much. I did a test strip here on a piece of painted... Um, piece of painted drywall just to see if it would grab if I could peel it off after it cured. Um, this is you know at least a week, week and a half old and it still has good tack to it. You can hear my finger sticking. Um, you know and you can kind of smear it if you press hard. It almost has the consistency of um, really sticky chewed gum perhaps. I also put a little dab on the carpet just to see how it would pull off in case you got a mess and you know pretty stringy almost a lot like chewing gum so it says mineral spirits and clean up after it's cured or been on things a while but I just left that piece on there for testing purposes and I, and I can't get to the edge of this to try to peel it off so if this carpet ever needs to come down, it's probably going to ruin the drywall too. But I'm very happy with it. Wanted to share this product. I'm not sure if the cheaper Roberts product, I got this at Home Depot. I'm not sure if the cheaper versions um, would be as good. They don't mention fast grab. I forget the number of them, but um, it's a four digit number. It's a Roberts product. The other two options were um, outdoor carpet and just the universal adhesive, I think but they're in the carpet section. This one's about 30 or 35 bucks a pail. Totally worth it. Did a great job. It's, it's a little hard to reposition. You know, if you get a big piece up, but as long as you don't have all the edges flattened out, you can peel it back off. You just gotta be careful. You don't want the adhesive that's on the edge of the carpets to get on your, your wainscoting or your, your other edge of your carpet in the wall. But, good product, I recommend it. And good luck in your, your projects.